All right, so let's talk about another one of my pet peeves. You hear how this door opens and closes? See that? How effortlessly it is? That's your typical Ford Lincoln Mercury door. This door striker bolt broke several years ago and I put a new one on it with the bushing. Now, hear this? Click. Door doesn't want to shut. Click. Door doesn't want to shut. You got to slam it. It'll shut. It's because the bushing's gone off the door striker bolt. <clears throat> really simple fix. I can't stand it when you see somebody trying to sell a car and you hear that click, or even just in pictures, you see that. They're asking top dollar for it, and I don't know if they're just that dumb. They don't know that it's not supposed to do that. But replace those. It's cheap. It's easy. I like the ones from Dorman. They're the best. Now, they don't always, sometimes they're a little bit too tight, and they got to work themselves in, but let's replace them and see what happens. I'm going to get this tripod set up, and... We're going to go and replace all three of these and show you how simple it is and how much better it makes these doors open and close. Okay, get yourself a T50 Torx bit and a ratchet and spin this out. I was going to set this thing on the other side of the door. I went to roll the window down and guess what? This window needs torque pins in it too, this left rear one. So we got to fix that too. But just take your Torx bit. Loosen this up. Spin it out of here. You got a nut sliding back and forth through there, right there. It's adjustable. But you want to try to get that right there in the exact same spot that it was. You can see where it was bolted down. Now, this also has a spacer on it that I want to keep and put behind the new one. So just spin that off. And let's grab the new one. And it actually has one on it too, like this. So I'm just going to take it off the new one. and spin what was on the original one on it. And this is a good time. You don't want to wipe off there where you can see where that was, but just kind of wipe behind it, clean it. It's a good time to get to it. Okay. Just take this. And spin it back in. Just hold it right there where it looks like it was originally fastened. Tighten it up. Now, let's see how the door closes. Doesn't that sound so much better than that click? I don't really like how it doesn't make a popping sound. I mean, I don't like that high pitch popping sound, but I like a little bit of a popping sound so and looking it kind of looks like the door is out just a little bit so i'm going to adjust that in just a little bit See if this makes a difference. Well, that didn't.
thing shut like I want it to. But it makes that good popping sound. I think I went too far though. And then a little bit there. I think we're going to leave it just like that because you're not having to slam the door. And it's making a great little thud. I don't want to call it that high pitched pop that drives me nuts. But I think it's going to work in the more it's used. So we're going to leave it just like that and move over to the other two. And then I guess we'll have to fix this window too. Okay, right rear. See? Click. Door don't want to shut. Annoying. So, we're going to do the same thing to this one. See how this works out. Man, that one was tight. Jeez. Again, get Dorman if you can. They don't always fit the best. Or they, let me put it this way, they don't always fit perfect, but they're better than anything else you're going to get. Okay, again, we're going to keep this original gasket and piece off of this one. And put it on the new one. I'm going to take this one off the new one. And wipe this out. And we can still see right where it was. Okay, let's see how this one shuts. Well, that's not good at all. Looking. That's what I mean. You run into this sometimes. Looks like maybe it needs to go up a little. See what happens this time. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this one. Maybe we need to take that washer out of it. Mm -hmm. 
actually, yeah, you can see where it's hitting right here. It's touching it right there. So I got a feeling that we're going to take the washer out of this one. It needs to go back in a little bit. That's why you don't ever slam the door real hard to start with. Apparently this one doesn't need the washer. I'll put this flat one. So apparently we're going to take this thick one that was on off originally and put this one that came on it because it looks like it needs to go back in a little bit more. That's why I like to do everything in real time and not skip steps. I don't want to make it look like a cakewalk because this is just part of life. Nothing ever goes smooth. Let's see what happens this time. See, I think it's still hitting it. It's almost like this thing is out too far. I'm going to try the other one. The other new one out of the package. That's clearly it, because you can tell by looking at this one. This is even on it, but... I don't know. It kind of looks the same. I feel like this is bent in more so than this one. Like this one's sticking way out. So we're probably going to still use it, but I think I'm going to put it in the vise or just take a hammer and beat it down. I don't want to beat on it while it's in the car, but I'm going to figure out a way to bend this down. So let's try this one for the time being. I got three. It happens. See what this one does. And that's pretty bad because, like I said, I find Dorman to be the best. Well, nothing beats original, and who knows, they may still be available at the dealer. I couldn't tell you. Probably paid double for them. Let's see what this one does. It's out a little bit more than I like, so I think we need to adjust it inward. We're not getting much of a thud when we do that either, so I'm going to adjust it in a little bit. Someone's here too. It is Napa bringing me more striker bolts for, or not striker bolts, door panel clips for that door. So hold on. Okay, I got the new door panel clips for that right rear or left rear door. Okay, let's go in a little bit with this.
see if that makes a difference. I like that. Perfect here, lining up. It makes a little thud when you open it. I didn't shut that time, but you don't have to slam it very dang hard. And like I said, they will wear in when they, these will chew into that plastic a little bit and make grooves and it'll work a lot better the more it's used. And it doesn't hurt to spray a little bit of grease in there on those. I don't really like grease, but more of a lubricant. In fact, let me see what I got over here. This is just some silicone lubricant. See what that does. We're going to leave it just like that. Now, let's let me figure out a way to bend this down. I'm going to put it in the vise and see if I can straighten it up any better before we try to put it on the front because it's the only three they had. They had to order them for me yesterday. So I'm going to peck this down somehow in a vise and see if we can put it on that front door. Okay, so I just snug this up in a vise like this. And I'm just going to try to peck this down. See if it gets us anywhere. That thing's pretty tough. Okay. Let's see if we can put it in that front door and it not hit this. All right, let's see if we have any luck with this one. Again, I'm going to switch these. Oops, put it on backwards. No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. It was this way. I will say that's the first time that I've run into that, one of these things being bent where it hit the door. I've never seen that. going in a little bit tougher. I think I may have nicked those threads a little bit, but it's not, it's not bad. Let's see what this one does. It's definitely in past that now.
Well, it sure fits up tight against that rubber. No wonder this car's so quiet. Got to slam it a little bit harder than I like. So, I think we may need to come out just a little bit. That is so nice compared to what it was. No click. Very little effort to shut the door. This, my friends, is how Ford Mercury Lincoln doors open and close. There, I wanted to show you that, and I just wanted to point out too, you know, it's not all a cakewalk. You do have problems like that, even with brand new stuff. I, you know, I don't have to tell a lot of you that, I know. But it's sad that you have a brand new part right out of the package you have to put in a vise and beat on with a hammer, but that's the way it is. But I don't know when we started on this, but that's how long it takes you to make your doors open and close like they should again with very little effort and those things cost ten bucks a piece nine ninety nine list prices in nineteen eighty six I get a bit of a discount so that's what it cost me but like if you take it to a shop and have it done they're gonna charge you double basically cost me ten dollars gonna cost you twenty dollars if you take it to a shop because they're gonna mark it up to list price so you can do it yourself there's no reason to pay anyone to do it so i hope this helps you guys out if you hear that click when you open your doors because that bushing's gone go to the parts store and get it and you see what you got to do you just go slow you may have to adjust it in and out and it doesn't hurt to spray those down a little bit don't spray a lot of nasty sticky grease in there just some nice lube so I hope this helped you. Please hit that thumbs up, like, and comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.